Okay, we got another box today, courtesy of FedEx and the gentleman who sent it to me. Let's use our box opening implement and see what's inside. Hopefully I won't be disappointed. And apparently I can't even cut straight, but... Okay. And notice we have standard plastic bags filled with packing peanuts. You can already tell they went to more effort than the last person that I received something from did. I think had that Bakelite record player been packed with all this padding inside that it would have probably stood a better chance of getting here in one piece. Okay, now what this is is a combination phonograph and film strip projector. Probably no newer than the 1940s, could even be from the late 30s, but possibly we can tell more about that once we examine examine it. And here it is, an Explanet 30-50. I think these were made by a company called Operadio, which I think later became Duquesne. Someone had this for sale on the ARF classifieds and I think this was in danger of getting parted out if no one bought it, so uh, I decided to give it a home. And here we are, all set up and put together. And this is obviously the screen for the projector. Or you could project the image up on a larger screen. These were primarily used by schools and uh, by salesmen in order to demonstrate uh, film strips that came with a recorded sound track. And back in the day when this projector was made, those would be 78 RPM records. The later model projectors had two and three speed turntables. And then from the era whenever I was in school, most of the film strips had cassette soundtracks that went along with them. And here's a neat little remote control push button and I'm not sure if this is to automatically advance the film strip or to pause the uh, record but we'll find that out soon enough found this remote control in the little storage compartment here and this is your little needle cup to hold your spare needles for the phonograph Okay, let's get this down to the shop in better light so we can see what we've got here in more detail. And here we are down in the shop where the lighting is a little better. And I just think for the heck of it, we're going to fire this up and see what happens. Power cord looks to be in pretty good shape. Well, I said earlier that uh, this was likely a 78 RPM model, but it looks like it's a 33 RPM. You can see the tubes lighting up. Okay. It appears this old crystal cartridge has a tad bit of output left to it, but kind of surprised about that. Usually these are dead as a doornail. 
even though this is rotating at 33 and you still couldn't play a modern 33 rpm album on it due to the weight of this tone arm and the type of stylus used back then 33 rpm records were they basically used the same type of groove as a 78 it's just they were recorded at a slower speed and about the only thing they were used for was a talking book and radio station transcription records and maybe a few other uses but the commercial 33 LP album that we're all familiar with didn't didn't come out until 1948 and there's the tubes a 12AU7, 50B5 and 12AT7 and I see a selenium rectifier back there for the power supply so that would most likely date this to the from the late 40s, early 50s maybe. Now I just need to figure out how to change the turntable speed to 78 if there is a way to change it to 78. Because if, if, if there is I can use this to play my old 78 RPM records. And one interesting thing I just discovered is this turntable will actually accommodate a 16 inch record. Of course, the tone arm tracks so heavy that on the vinyl records or the whatever they're made out of, and it, you can see it pushing down against the record. But the main thing is the disc will fit on the turntable. I'm sure I could modify this tone arm with a lighter weight cartridge. But yeah, that would make this unit worth repairing just in itself. The fact that it will play a 16 inch radio transcription record okay so there you go a first look at my newly acquired Explanet projector slash record player in a future video we will restore this to operating condition and put it into service okay thanks for watching and more to come later